According to recent SEC filings, as of the fourth quarter of 2019, Berkshire Hathaway owns 52 stocks with a total value of $242.1 billion. Although Berkshire sold shares in several companies, I was most interested in the purchases. As reported, Berkshire Hathaway bought shares in The Kroger Company, Biogen, Suncor Energy, General Motors, RH, The Spiders S&P 500, Vanguard S&P 500, and Occidental Petroleum Corp. Occidental Petroleum Corp. is the one company I wanted to talk about today. So, let's take a look. Occidental bought Anadarko last year and has been cutting costs and selling assets to cover the acquisition. As part of the deal, Occidental took on about $40 billion in debt, including new loans and the assumption of Anadarko's existing debt. And as discussed in a previous video, Berkshire Hathaway was tapped for debt financing. In addition, Berkshire also bought Occidental shares in the open market. And according to recent filings, Berkshire Hathaway has further added to its holdings of Occidental Petroleum by more than 150%. The purchase prices were between $37.34 and $44.23 per share, with an estimated average of $39.98 per share. As of the end of the fourth quarter of 2019, the holdings were 18,933,054 shares and Berkshire now owns about 2.53% of Occidental's outstanding shares. Lately, I've talked a lot about a potential rotation back to energy. Occidental fits within this strategy along with several other energy stocks. Many of these energy stocks have similar great charts that are evolving quite well. However, Occidental may be a bit more risky given the acquisition of Anadarko and the amount of debt taken on. Further, we're going to struggle with the coronavirus for a while, and that may impact the energy sector. So, as usual, be prudent and follow the fundamentals. And keep in mind that Occidental Petroleum will announce its fourth quarter 2019 financial results after the market close on February 27, 2020. So, let's take a look at our charts. And we're looking at a 20-year monthly chart on Occidental Petroleum. The symbol is OXY, and for disclosure purposes, I do not hold any shares of Occidental at this time. And the important thing to take a look at here in the price chart is simply the bottom there in late 2008, and then the current level here, very similar. Now, Occidental, as an energy company, this chart is a lot weaker than many of the other energy stocks out there. So you may or may not want to focus on Occidental for that reason. But a lot of the charts have very similar chart patterns. And that's really important. When you get a whole bunch of charts in one sector that is very similar, then that really raises your confidence, or at least it raises my confidence in my read. Now, I'm thinking that there's going to be a rotation into energy. And I think we can see that here in the MAC. We're starting to base and bottom here just in the last, say, few months or so. Now, this has an ugly MAC all the way back to 2007. Down that channel through here. But I'm looking for that to be broken, at least on the way up here. And only time will tell. But I think it's bottoming and basing as we speak. It could take another month or two, or perhaps a little bit more, depending upon the earnings. But keep your eye out on Oxy and the other energy sector stocks. And here in the histogram, you can see that this improvement has been going on for at least two, three, four months. Now, we still have a ways to go before it gets to that zero line, but it's on its way. You can see also the improvement in the price rate of change with the fast line coming through the slow line. Still at a negative 28 level there, so it's relatively weak, but it is improving. Here into the RSI, again, a moderately weak 31.73, but it is improving. You can see that that basing there is similar to that level there. 
Now we're going to head on up toward that 50 or midline soon enough. Watch for that. Stochastics, also very nice. A very good bottom basing with a fast line moving through the slow line there. This is the weakest that the stochastics have been in this entire chart. So that goes to show that things are still weak, but I think they're firming up. Check the other stocks too to see what's happening with them. Do that cross check to give you that additional confidence. Volume certainly spiked up. Not necessarily good, not necessarily bad. Into the Williams, also nice bottoming, basing here. I'd like to see this uh, move out of that oversold territory and above that negative 80, moving on up to that negative 50 or midline. You can wait for that if you want. For me, you should know by now that my trigger is when the fast line of the MAC runs through the slow line. I don't always wait for it, but I wait for a sign that it's going to conclusively close through on its way up. Back here to the price chart, things still look weak, but I think they are improving. Again, Occidental has a lot of debt to recover from, so pay attention to those fundamentals. And for today, that's Chew Dog Charts. Thank you.